Hello, the beautiful soul. Welcome back to another weekly energy forecast for the week of October 3rd to the 9th. Now, we just went through a power week. Mercury just went direct again. So now moving forward, the energies are definitely going to lighten up a little bit. The energy will loosen up because now since Mercury went direct again, there's not this intense energy anymore. Now, of course, you still have that two week window now to tie up any loose ends of what you haven't really completed during Mercury retrograde. And if you're not sure what exactly we're working through, you may tune into the two weeks before Mercury went retrograde. To to see what was the theme that you were going through. What were some of the reoccurring things that you had to deal with or think about or work through? And that was also the, the key theme that you were working through during Mercury retrograde. But now you have those two weeks to still tie up those loose ends. Uh, usually it is about communication, about relationships, and especially that key thing that you were working through during Mercury retrograde. But even though there's now also a breath of fresh air that can be felt, the energy is less constricted. Now, I don't know about you, but this Mercury retrograde season was very intense. And I've heard it from so many light works and hey, myself included, it was very, very intense that, uh, it, it stretched us. It, I mean, it was all about September was all about the integration and the alignment to new souls template and Mercury retrograde was, was helping us to do so. So it was very intense but now since mercury went direct again you can feel that now this week moving forward this coming week you can really feel some sort of a lightness in the air the energy is less constricted less heavy and you can feel like like you can finally take a breather like okay it's finally over so just take that take that deep breath and allow yourself just to let all that has happened in September let it all go so you can really step into your power more because October brings that forward moving energy and this first week of October is also where you feel more inspired to finally act upon those ideas you had maybe you had ideas that you wanted to act upon you really really had those ideas and you just wanted to but there was no drive to actually act upon it now that was happening a lot uh, last month and now with this freshness in the air the, the the new energy of october there's really that forward movement so this week just be prepared that you may really feel that that inner drive to okay now it's time to act on it and i will share with you that card reading here in a moment as well just to give you some more insights into the core energies of this week but just know that this week is really brings with it that forward moving energy to really inspire you to take action. Now, and now since we are at the beginning of the month, I would like to mention, maybe set some intentions for the month of what you want to call forth, what you want to experience this month, because it's a beautiful thing. Like when you take that time at the beginning of the month to tune in, to maybe check in with your to-do list, your desires, your goals, and those type of things, and just decide, well, how do you want this month to go? What do you want to experience? Really set those intentions because then you have something that you can align yourself with. You can align yourself on a daily basis to those intentions. Okay, so this is like just a quick overview for this week. Uh, like I said, there's definitely a different energy now. But now let's ask the cards to see what do the cards want to share us. Here you may also tune in with me, connect on a deeper level and just open yourself up to receive additional insights as we consult the cards to see what is important for us to know. So just tune in, close your eyes maybe for a moment, get centered and open yourself up to receive the guidance. And I now ask our team of guides to assist us with this card reading to share with us what is most important for us to know for this coming week the core energies beginning of the week and even the mid of the week and end of the week okay so i got the three cards so here like i said you may open yourself up for each card just allow yourself to see what your intuition intuition is telling you about each card okay so the first card is the eternal light of love. This is all about coming from love because love is within you. Love is all around you. And love is the highest level frequency that you can tap into. And with everything that has been going on, you may feel a bit tired. You maybe still feel a little wobbly, you know, with the energy shifting, with Mercury moving direct. You may still feel a little out of balance. And here the invitation is really to tap into that, that inner light of yours and really tap into the energy 
energy of love. Because when you come from love, when you look at everything, the challenge, the obstacles, everything that you're experiencing from the point of view of love, then you will see also the lessons, the messages, the gift, and it will help you to also up-level your frequency. And when you allow yourself to really see the message, the lesson, the gift within each situation, for one, you will grow from that. You will transform from that. And maybe this past month or Mercury retrograde season was quite challenging for you. And maybe you are feeling, having that sense of what well, you may want to give up or this is not working. Maybe doubt is coming up. But here, when you really tap into this, this eternal light of love, it also brings up that sense of trust, trusting in your path, trusting in yourself, trusting that even though maybe you are going through some little bit difficult time or maybe things are not working out the way you want, or maybe you want to act on those ideas you had, but you just didn't feel called to do that. Just trust that everything happens for a reason. Everything happens in to your highest and greatest good and everything will help you lead you to the direction, into the direction that you're meant to go into. So just look into your life or look into uncover what are those areas in your life that you don't feel in alignment with that don't feel all that great that maybe upset you that are challenging for you and allow yourself to just send love into the situation because when you allow yourself to send love into a situation the situation changes because you're putting a different energy into into that if you focus on a situation and you're putting so much negative energy in there whether it's lack frustration or fear or doubt or whatnot well guess what happens it expands you're calling more of that forth you were not allowing the situation to resolve. So instead, I want to invite you, look at those situations and come from, from love. Really send love to that situation. Find something to be grateful about, about this situation and truly just surround it with love. Like really close your eyes, tune into that situation, tune into the fear, the doubt, whatever is coming up for you. And just send love to it. You may imagine pink light, red light, anything that represents love. Just send it to that and allow yourself to see how the situation can change because you can impact any situation by you just focusing on something different, focusing on the opposite of what you have been focusing on. So that's the, at, uh, the opportunity here is beginning of the week is really to come from love, to, to trust that everything is happening for a reason to your highest and greatest good. And of course, all happens in divine timing, right? But we are, you know, just so you know, I mean, we are in a new month. So the energies in October are completely different. And there is that breath of fresh air now coming too. So you may still need a couple of days to get used to this new energy, especially because when a planet goes retrograde and then all of a sudden it moves direct again, well, there is somewhat of an adjustment period again. So just be gentle with yourself. Go easy, but just know that the energies are definitely shifting. It's not going to be as constricted, as challenging as it has been these past few weeks. So just allow yourself to really come from love and then trust. Okay. So the second card is the, for the midweek is receptivity. Basically, being open, being open to receive that what is to your highest and greatest good. And here, it may also be certain things that you didn't even think are to your highest and greatest good, that you may have not been available for previously. So here, it's really just imagine you're opening your arms. Like, if you see... If you've seen the picture up here, the the guide up there has her hands open, right? And there's light coming from above. When you open yourself up, like literally open yourself up, you can even imagine you opening your arms, but then also opening up your energy field. Because when you're calling up on the universe to ask for your desires, like bring me this, bring me that, I want this, I want to manifest that. But energetically, you are just so close off, you're not allowing it to come. So here, I want to invite you to maybe consider or 
evaluate yourself or just tune in to see where are you not open to receiving what you want because if you're asking for something if you're asking for support or let's say you're the kind of person that thinks you have to do it all yourself no one can do it better than you or no one is there to assist you that you trust yourself more than you trust anyone else to do something or whatnot or anything like that where you feel like you have to be in control you have to be in a driver's seat and that you have to handle everything Whenever you're in that energy, the problem is you're actually closing yourself off to receive support, to receive what will help you really break through this or move forward in your life or just make it through this challenging time that you're in or anything like that. So just assess where are you actually closed off to support? And the support can mean many different things. Let's say you want to manifest more money, but you want to manifest money just in a specific way. Let's say through your job or your business or anything like that. Or maybe you want to win the lottery, right? But if you're just too focused on one thing, you're closing yourself off to all these other beautiful things that could bring in more money because there are infinite ways, infinite possibilities for you to have exactly what you want and then something even better. But in order to receive that, well, we got to be open to that, right? So here the, the midweek is all about being open, being open to receive, being open to receive guidance, insights, support, uh, the things that you want to call forth, anything and everything that you're asking for, anything and everything that you need in the moment, and even the things that you don't even know you need, being open to receiving that. Because, and here it's about, when I look at this card, it's not if you're seeing this lady in the bottom, she's sitting there meditating, she's sitting there in quiet. That also is very important in order to be open and receptive. Well, we don't also need to then slow down, tune in more. If you're wondering what is your next path, uh, what's your next step? What could you be doing? What do you want to be doing or anything like that? If you're feeling a little off in your life right now, if you're feeling out of balance, you're feeling, if you're feeling that something is missing, well, in order to receive insights, well, you got to slow down. You got to tune in and allow yourself to receive. And here, meditation is a great way to just tune in to also and energetically align yourself to your desires. If you're always just busy and constantly distracted by life itself and by your to-dos and your responsibilities and all the things that are happening in your life, what well, we often then are not even open to receiving what we need, what we want, what we desire, and what is to our highest and greatest good. So here midweek is an invitation. Just slow down for a little bit uh, and maybe take time every day to just slow down for a bit. If you're not meditating currently, I highly recommend start meditating or take some time each and every day where you just tune in. You connect with your higher self. You connect with your soul. You connect with that that inner wisdom that's already within you and then open yourself up. One of the, the exercises I like to do is just tuning in, closing my eyes, put both hands over my heart and really imagining I'm opening up my energy field. I'm magnetizing the things that I want, but I'm also opening myself. Because if you visualize the things that you want to attract, that you want to call forth, but you're closed off to receiving it, well, then it's, it kind of can't come to you, right? So midweek is all about really being receptive to receiving. Now here, that is also receiving those small things. Let's say someone wants to hold the door open for for you allow that and then say thank you without feeling weirded out about it. or if someone wants to pay maybe lunch for you or or wants to give you something or anything like that or even just gives you a compliment say thank you thank you be grateful for that allow yourself to receive it take it and be be grateful for it so just be open to receiving whatever wants to come your way okay so the end of the week is all about inner peace. When you, because there is a place within you where you feel absolutely at peace. It's when you tune in. It's when you connect deeply with that inner part of you, your soul, your higher self, that inner stillness within. It's when you tap into that inner stillness. Like here, there's like that door, right? The door with this light behind it. And there's so much beauty that can be found within. When you allow yourself to just tune in and become quiet, for one, 
it is absolutely relaxing. You get back to center. You get back into alignment with who you are, your soul, your higher self. You also raise your frequency because you're letting go of all that stuff that is actually weighing you down. But then also you open yourself up to insights, to guidance, to possibilities. And oftentimes in our life, we're so busy with everything and we may forget to just tune in to find that inner peace. And here it's also looking at your life to uncover what is causing you that inner, that that inner dissatisfaction, that frustration, the anger, maybe the doubt, the fears that just you not feeling all right. That can be situations in your life that could also be your own mindset, your own doubts and fears that are causing that internal disconnect in a way. And when you un allow yourself to uncover those things that are really uh, causing you to not feel that inner peace. It is an invitation to look a little closer. Well, what can you do about that? Because when you have the awareness that something is not okay, that something doesn't feel right, well, guess what? You have power then. Because then you have the power to do something about it. Because with awareness comes the power of choice. When you become aware that, let's say there's a person at your, your job that always just talks negatively. It's just really toxic. And whenever you talk to that person, you leave them and you just feel absolutely not yourself. You feel not good. Well, that is a sign when you have that awareness. Well, then you can do something about it. You can decide, well, do I want to continue putting myself into that situation where I feel that way? Or what can I do? Well, I could stay away from that person or I could just really tune them out or to even tell them, look, I don't want to talk about this more. Let's drop that. Let's talk about something else. You are responsible for how you feel. If there's something that doesn't feel good, well, why would you want to continue being in that surrounding? Why would you allow yourself or why would you allow someone else to keep you in that energy, right? So here, focus on what brings you that inner peace. Do more of that. And whatever doesn't bring you that inner peace, whatever brings you the, the opposite, the inner dissatisfaction and frustration, well, do something about it. That is so important now because when, as we're moving forward, you now September was all about that integration to that and that alignment to the new soul's template. Well, you now need to get used to that newness, that new you that you have merged into because of all the things that have happened over these last few months and especially like Mercury retrograde and then the eclipses and then September and all of these things and then Lionsgate and all of those different things all help to really step into a new you, emerge into a new you. You. But now it's up to you to decide what are you available for. And whatever you no longer want to experience, just draw the line. Like, I'm not available for this anymore. And it's really draw that line for that. That whenever something happens that is not in alignment with what you are available for, say, nope, mm -mm, not doing that. And then shift something. Do something differently. Uh, raise the bar on what you're available for. Meaning if you no longer want to experience certain things, just draw the line. Say, nope. I'm not, I'm done with this. Don't want this no more. And this can, now it, it doesn't necessarily happen overnight. Okay. So this is something that it's going to be a practice on a daily basis when you're noticing that something doesn't make you feel good. Something upsets you. Something doesn't feel right. Well, then each moment that something like that happens, you have a choice that you can make. You can choose to either ignore what you're feeling and just go with it and let it happen all around you. Or you can decide, nope, don't want that. I must stay away from that. Or maybe looking at it from a different perspective or even telling a person, look, I don't want this. I don't like this. Stop doing that. Things like that, right? You then have the power to choose what you want and to really set that, set those higher set points of what you're available for. And don't allow anything else that is below that set point into your life because it's all about that inner peace. What brings you that inner peace? It's about being receptive to receiving what you really want. And of course, also then, you know, coming from love, see, to seeing love within each situation and trusting. So these are the core energies for the week. I really hope this was helpful to you. If you did do me a favor, hit the like button. Maybe leave me a comment below. Let me know. 
How do you feel about this? Did you even get some insight? Or even if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. But I also want to mention a video to you that I think would be beneficial to you of how to align yourself to your soul's highest path so you can really live more of a heart-centered life. The link is in the description below if you feel called to check it out. I think it's going to help you in really aligning yourself that to that, to really standing in your power. But now, moving forward for this week, I really want to invite you. Now, I already mentioned at the beginning of this video about setting some intentions for the month, but I also want to invite you now that you know about the core energies of this week, the key energies of the eternal light of love, the receptivity and inner peace. Set some intentions for this week. Maybe do some journaling about what else is coming up for you for about each card. And then set some intentions of what would you like to experience this week. You can maybe set a uh, decide on what is one word that you want to focus on, whether it's abundance or inner peace or really being open, whatever it is, and make that your mantra for the week. Really focus upon that word, really embody it and feel it and stay with that word for this week. Decide of what you want to experience this week. That's really how you can make the most out of this. Like really at the beginning of the week, already get some insights in, okay, well, what do I want to experience this week? And then decide what that is. And like I said, raise, raise those higher set points, uh, what you are available for. If what you want to experience, if that's what you want to experience, make that your new set point that this is all you're available for. Okay, so here you go. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Now, be sure to check out this next video here about aligning yourself to your, to your soul's highest path. I, and I really look forward to seeing you again in the next video. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Uh, enjoy the energy. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Until then, make an amazingly abundant, successful day. Namaste.